guys, Julie here, and I am off property yet again with Canela. We are hands-free healing on the main street where it's very busy as you can hear and see. Dump trucks, traffic, people walking down the sidewalks. It is a lot going on, but we take her out every day off property in this final week to make sure she can do all of her obedience just as well in an environment like this as she did in the training room um, and in our neighborhood, which isn't as exciting. So nice off leash heel. Leash is attached to my waist amidst all the dump trucks, traffic, um, and people walking by. So we are about to go hang out at a storefront in a downstay, which is like a revolving door of people in and out and cars parking and then leaving. Um, again, just teaching her to be passive about her environment and not reactive. So don't lunge at people, don't bark. Just be still and do what your handler tells you to do, right? So every single day this week, she's gotten off uh, property with us. And what do you think these experiences are doing for her? They're socializing her, they're teaching her about the world, and they're teaching her to be passive. That would scare a lot of dogs, I'm telling you, but she's so calm right now because all she knows she has to do is heal, right? She doesn't need to overreact to the world. Beautiful job, what a good girl. Okay, we're about to be at the main entrance and we're gonna do a downstay. Okay, so I like coming here because it's just a nice little spot to hang out and she gets to watch the world as it goes on around her. Sit, what a good girl, down. Beautiful job. Good girl. Very good girl. So that little interaction right there as a person walk by, she's not reacting to them. She's not lunging. She's not barking. This is where she just gets to learn. She gets to watch. Relax in your downstay. And that's it. And if you want to practice with your dog and you're not sure about their skills, you can add a layer of safety by stepping on the leash. What a good girl. Beautiful job. See, that's that revolving door, so she just gets to watch. She's not worried about all the hustle and bustle going on around her. She's just chilling. A couple weeks ago, this would never be possible. She didn't even want to lay down when we told her to, and none, nevertheless, step. Beautiful job, Nell Nell. Good girl. I tell her she's doing a great job. This trip has been wonderful for her, healing up and down that main street and now a downstay at the store entrance. And when we get home, we'll do some place time and again, another nail session. We're really close to being able to dremel all of her nails down to their quicks, which is something that we couldn't even begin to do a couple weeks ago. going on around here today so good for her again the ability for a dog to be able to relax anywhere and remain passive not always be at the end of a tight leash that's huge wonderful she's not struggling at all so we're gonna go ahead and heal away so to get her to heal I'm gonna say the word heel and I'm gonna tap my tone button here. And I'm gonna tap my left thigh. Heel, good girl. And now we're in the heel, back to the car. Good girl. Wonderful job, just dragging that leash. There's the car. Beautiful. Sit, good girl.